ready for our two final contests right now. It's time for our co-main event of the evening. The following contest scheduled for five two-minute rounds is sponsored by Six Lounge in High Wickham. And this contest will be fought for the Southern Lightweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to fight out of the blue corner, please welcome Kamsi Day! There's a record of six wins, six losses. And they got five eleven. It's a big fight. This fight against Jay Marley was scheduled several months ago. Fortunately, Jay Marley pulled out an injury, but finally they can settle their score. Of course, Kamzi repping his Punjabi identity, coming out to Siddhu Musawala. Paying homage to the king. Now this fighter, ladies and gentlemen, has the talent to go to the top, just as Darren was alluding to earlier in the show. Jay Marley, thoughts on him? Excellent boxer. Uh, engine of three men in him. Not much more than to be said. Watch him work today. Uh, you know, tall, tall order for Kamsi Nate this evening. Let's see if he can do it. With a record of 21-0. He's putting that undefeated record on the line. And of course, the Southern Lightweight title is also on the line for both of these fighters. Who comes out on top? We're about to find out, ladies and gents. Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, make some noise for Jay Mali. Jay Mali, one of the most talented young boxers on the white collar circuit at the moment, coming up against Kamsi Date. Date appearing to have a superior reach advantage, just eyeballing it here. Um, this could be fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. Five two minute rounds for the Southern Lightweight title as we get underway for this first round. I can't wait for this one. Just a superior work rate of Jay Marley over, over five rounds is something that we might observe today. Um, can Kamsi Date take him all the way? Can Kamsi Date upset the apple cart? Five, two minute rounds are scheduled and here we go with round one. Question is, already a right hand by Jay. Can Kamsi use that reach to his advantage? Keep the high pressure fighter. That is Jay away from him. <coughs> Crowd's definitely in Jay Marley's favour, that's for sure. Yeah, looping overhand. <laughs> Short for Marley. Wild. 
Control of the distance from V, but Kamsey coming in with some sharp shots. Yeah, nice work from Kamsey. Moving as well, circling his opponent. Smart from Kamsey. Does not want to be left in the corner with Jay Marley and that engine that he has. Jay having a little bit of trouble breaking down the distance barrier early on here. Every time he gets on the inside, Date's just tying him up as well. It's a good start from Kamsey. Locking up again is Date. This is a clever tactic early on from him. Yeah, frustrating his his opponent in Jay Marley. If you let Jay just stay on the inside and work, it's tough time. So Date's clearly studied the footage on Marley. Smart fighting. Locking up again. It's clearly a tactic for him here. It's serving him well, actually. Jay Marley's corner's not happy with the with the holding, but it's a tactic. Lawrence Acoli does it a lot. But it's smart. Good jab from Marley to whip the head back there of Date. Smart buying from Kamsey, circling around, but this is not where he wants to be. Good uppercut lands there for Date. Yeah, good round so far for him. Yeah, absolutely. Got off to a strong start here. It's a lovely hook that is from Marley. Yeah. Front foot pressure fighting. You'll see this for a full five rounds. It's definitely an art form this is. Nice jab by Kamsey as Jay comes in. Date potentially having the cleaner work in that first round, I would say. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for Kamsey, a lot of people are looking at his record 6-6 six and six and thinking, how is he going to compete with Jay Marley, who's got this formidable record of 21-0 and, and has so much behind him. But that was a great round. He was using the jab, popping that great movement. Yes, he was clinching. But it's all part of the boxing game, isn't it? The sweet science. Yeah, absolutely. Your nail on the head there. He's come in here with a clear game plan, work from the outside, trouble Marley with the distance. Once Marley does manage to break down the distance, locking him up keeping him tight, making the referee break them up. It's a good game plan. Can he carry it across five rounds? Because I think for my money, that first round went to Kamsey Day. I agree. That's 1-0 Kamsey. Can you keep this up for the next four rounds against the intensity that Jay Marley brings is the question. Jay Marley will not slow down. I've said it once, I'll say it again. That man's pace does not falter. If Kamsey Day can hold at that pace for five rounds, I'll be equally as impressed. We really do have a fight in our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Seconds out, please. Round two. Good job from Kamsi so far. Swooping right hand from Marley comes up short. Trying to get that work on the inside. Kamsey Date holding on, but Jay Marley breaks free, if only momentarily. Yeah, he's working that body now, Jay, I think. Ooh, left by Marley as Kamsey ate that punch. Jay trying to angle with the head just to break free of the grip of uh, Kamsey Date here. It's a left hook there by Marley, but I think Kamsey rode that shot quite well. Good head movement here from Marley. Jinx. Good jab lands for Date coming on the inside there from Marley. Definitely his game plan is to frustrate Marley here. That's Big a shot. Great right hand, but he ate that shot. Jay Marley smiling. Kamsey. He knows he connected clean. That was the best shot of the fight so far. Yeah, good defence though from Kamsey. Marley, he's so intense. He doesn't give his opponent any respite no clubbing left hand boxing on the again front with foot. the right again with the right on the ropes comes he needs to get away from these ropes the game plan here for Marley is just wear his man down if you want to clinch fine we'll clinch grinding into him changing the angle of the head overlapping the underhooks with the arms hitting on the break as well Excellent work by Jay Marley, but a nice combination there. Yeah, two and a one from Kamsey there. Jay's corner telling him to go to the body. That's ten seconds. And he's doing it. Seems like Kamsey's a bit fatigued by the looks of it. Yeah, he's starting to slow down. Southport, oh, nice shot from Jay. 
Jay Malley looks like he's just walked to the shops to pick up a newspaper. He doesn't look phased at all. Now these two are very game. How did you see that round? I think that was a better round for Marley. I think it's one apiece. Yeah, I agree. Landing more of his shots. Wasn't yeah. getting involved in as many clinches as Kamzi did in the first round. I think he's embraced the clinch a little bit. I think he's saying, you know what, if you want to clinch, fine, we'll clinch. I'm going to wrestle with you for the underhooks. I'm going to throw you off balance. I'm going to angle with my head either side to make you work for that clinch if you want it. Can you do it for five rounds? And I think, you know, I think Date's starting to slow down a little bit, but he's still very, very much in there. Definitely, he just needs to keep this up. But, like you said, when you have a fighter with the intensity and pressure that Jay Marley brings, it's not going to be easy. No. It's a big round, this is for both fighters. Jay Marley ready to rock in the middle of the ring. A little bit of uh, water spillage in the corner of Tamsi Dates being addressed by the referee. Round three. Round three of five. Jay Marley walking Kamsi down. Oh. Back to the jab by Jay Marley. Kamsi needs to, to pop that jab a lot more. This game plan for Day only works if he if he's throwing the combinations before he links up. Uh, if, if he's not scoring shots, just grabbing hold isn't going to do anything for him. I agree, but that's a nice one-two from Kamsi, and then Jay Marley comes back with his own combination. Exciting exchange. Right hand there, buckles Kamsi, but he holds on there. Just not even his head off the centre line, Jay Malley, as he approaches inwards. Nice head movement. He's very, very slick, Jay Marley. That's a clubbing right hand by Jay Marley again to Kamzi. Yeah, that shot's finding a home pretty consistently now. It's another jab by Jay Marley. Kamzi looking to hold. Kamzi date showing signs of fatigue in this third round. Yeah, the engine, that intensity you were talking about with Jay Marley, he's coming here to fruition in this round. Big shots landing flush. Comes in. That intensity by Jay Marley again. He's onto him. To the body. Tiring Kamsi. One two combination. Oh, he ate that right hand again, Kamsi. Clipped the chin with it. And, and again. A great left hook by Jay Marley. Kamsi. Kamsi's a warrior taking these shots though, Darren. Yeah, absolutely. Jay's starting to find a home for these shots now. He struggled through the first couple of rounds, but now he's really starting to find... Another two straight clubbing right hands by Jay Marley. Good round for Jay Marley. He's starting to walk away with it a little bit here. That intensity. I know you spoke about it in the build-up to this fight. But Jesus Christ. Yeah, he will do it bell to bell. From the first to the fifth, he will do it bell to bell and with no problems. That gas tank needs to be evaluated at GCSE Science. <laughs> Those lungs, the alveoli, everything. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a physical conditioning. He's in the gym every day, but it's a mental fortitude as well. You can see he's breathing heavily in the corner now, but he won't let up on that approach. Wherever a lot of fighters, they'll feel the fatigue. They'll start to slow down. They'll start to visibly display that fatigue. Jay Malley will box the same in round one as he does in round five, and that's really where he impresses that's where his real talent is his technical boxing is fantastic but that's not the most impressive part of his game it's that work rate it's that engine that he has to just keep grinding you down round after round after round consistently not letting up for a single second now of course and we enter the fourth round round four Jay already onto Kamsi stalking him down Two more rounds for these two men to get through. Marley walking down again. Can Kamsi compete with this pace? Looping shots from Jay Marley. Can he straighten them out a little bit? Will he land more effectively if he does? Nice right hand there by Kamsi. Catching Marley walking in. Oh, that was a clubbing right hand by Marley.
Nice head movement by Kamzi. Needs to do more of that. Evade those punches. Because not only does Marley have an engine, he's a volume puncher as well. Yeah. Doesn't seem to have one punch knockout power, but it's that accumulation of shots to the head that he's stopped mm. people with, works to the body that he's stopped people with previously. No, definitely. I think you can tell some of the both fighters are tiring. It's a wild shot that was by Marley earlier. Another overhand clubbing right from Jay Marley. Complaints to the referee about the holding in the corner. Another good jab there by Jay. Clubbing right hand. Camzy visibly tiring now. Yeah, definitely. Oh, another clubbing right hand by Jay. But Camzy's eating these for his breakfast. Oh. Camzy needs to get up. It wasn't a knockdown, but... Yeah, visible, visible signs of fatigue on display here. Jay Malley likely smelling blood in the water here. <coughs> Almost hunching over in the ring is Kamsi Date. Needs to compose himself a little bit here. Breathing heavy. I mean, Jay Marley's looking to the referee, but seconds. it's just smart from Kamsi. Holding. That was a clubbing right hand by Jay. Big body shot. End of round four. One more round left to go. Jay Marley showing a bit of cool confidence or arrogance was that saying to Jay Kamsi, you're just not good enough. Another round in the bag for Jay Marley. Kamsi needs a knockout in order to win the Southern Lightweight title. His trainer, Coach B, imploring all types of tactics. But this is it, this is the round where Kamsi has to find a knockout. We saw, although it was a different discipline, Leon Edwards do the same with Kamara Usman about a year ago. The fifth round, no one saw it coming. Could we see that coming in this fight though, Darren? Yeah, can Kamsi date come from come from behind, seemingly, you know, starting to slow down in pace. Can he come with something big in this final round? Here we go then. <coughs> Marley looking outside the ring like a bull in the ring. The Matador. That is now the fifth and final round. His nickname is Wartime and he's definitely brought the war tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Big oh, right that, hand again. Big right hand. Kamsi Tate wrestling for his life there. Yeah. One thing it does show is Kamsi does have a chin on him. Yeah, he's eating these shots well. You know, a lot of these punches, the volume takes out any fighter. He's still here, taking serious punishment. Kamsi dates hair, coming a little bit of a uh, problem for him here, potentially blocking oh, his vision. Eat that right hand. Of course, as we know, Kamsi is lucky he's on the ropes. Is that a standing eight count? No, no standing eight count there from Mozart Morris. That looks like a clash of heads for a second there. Big work here from Jay Marley. He's trying to close the show. Oh, it was a bad left hook. That was by Jay Marley on Kamsi. Referee splits both men in the corner. Recenters the fight. Jay Marley running back in. He's looking for that knockout. He's looking for that knockout. But Kamsi is fighting valiantly here. Still in this. Can he find that punch to knock out Jay Marley and win this fight? Big body shot. Jab's just not going to do it for Kamsi. He needs to find the power punch. Separation from the referee here again in the corner. I mean, as we know, Kamsi does keep his hair long for his faith. But he's eating those punches. Big right hand clean to the jaw. Onslaught here in the corner from Jay Malley. Horrendous shots being taken by Kamsi Day. Jay Marley putting shots. it all on the iron for the last 10 seconds. Big right hand. He's hurt. He's man. Again, he holds on. Jay Malley kept him standing at the end of the round there. We need some respect here. Another good performance for Jay Marley there. 
as we go ringside with your announcer and Sani for an interview. Before we give you the decision, please show your appreciation for the fighters. Welcome, boys. Hard content. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a unanimous decision of the five of the rounds of boxing. Judge Ron and Judge Two both score the contest 50 to 46. Judge Three scores the contest 50 to 45. All three in favour of your winner. And now, CSL Southern Lightweight Champion, he moves to 22 now, fighting out of the wrestler, Jay Congratulations once again to your Southern Lightweight title winner, Jay Marley. He moves to 22 and 0. The juggernaut continues. Jay was on the lead. I want to thank everyone. I wanted a fight. I want a war. I don't want to kill somebody. Irrespective, 22 and 0 is an impressive performance again. That's the shit! Oh, 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 o